Instead of buying a new refrigerator, I decided I would paint mine black. The first thing I needed to do was clean the refrigerator, so I used Fantastic. I really like this product. As soon as you spray it on, the dirt just comes right off. So after I cleaned my entire refrigerator, I did go in with some lacquer cleaner. And what that does is it gets up extra grime and it also gives you a paintable surface that your paint will adhere to. Because I am starting with the appliance epoxy, I went ahead and put plastic over the areas that I really wanted to protect in my kitchen. Please do not skip this step. You would be surprised at how much it actually gets everywhere. And I used this appliance epoxy to get in between all of the grooves and do the handles and the hardware that is on the refrigerator. I honestly probably should have also used it to do the inside of the refrigerator ahead of time, but I did not do that. Because I didn't want to spray paint the entire refrigerator, I did use the Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel in semi-gloss black because I did not want a high sheen on my refrigerator. When using this paint, it's best to use the foam rollers. I also added about a cap full of acetone to my paint before I started painting. So here I have my first coat done you actually have to let this paint sit for 24 hours before you can do the second coat as you can see i messed up by not doing the inside of the refrigerator first but that's okay i did go back and make sure that i got that done before i did the second coat the next day I went ahead and applied the second coat to the refrigerator. I did thin it down with acetone. And the one thing I did notice is that when you add the acetone, it does dry a lot quicker. So I was very happy about that. Most of this was done off camera. So here I am showing you guys how I went ahead and painted this refrigerator there are some parts missing because well you couldn't really see what i was doing so i went ahead and just made sure that you guys can actually see what's going on and as you guys will see i did use the spray and the enamel simultaneously and every time you guys spray if you see any drips just make sure you come back with your roller and you roll that really quickly or else you will see drip marks don't be alarmed you will also see some bubbles when you're rolling on your paint just make sure you keep going over any streak marks or anything that you have and with that you know you'll get a smooth finish if for some reason you see drips after you're done you can go over that with some acetone and then just repaint it over again Here is just a quick look at the refrigerator after I was done painting. It of course had not dried yet, the paint was still wet and I kept the refrigerator in this area until it was dry enough to touch. So one thing too, I did have to go through and just do a little bit of touch up on the inside of the refrigerator and I did that with acetone, just a little cleanup. But overall, I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I absolutely love it. Thank you for watching.